Hi, welcome to DAP. I'm Nicole, a fifth year in industrial design, and I came to um, DAP because I heard about how great the program was in terms of co-op, and then also it was so close to home. I'm actually from Cincinnati. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm a third year in urban planning, and I'm also from Cincinnati, actually. I came to DAP because I looked kind of far and wide for a school that would fit my interests. And originally when I was going through, I didn't know what major I wanted. Um, and then I found urban planning after kind of talking to different DAP professors. And I really found that it was the one for me. And I feel like that's an experience that a lot of DAP students have. We'll give you a virtual tour today of some of the spaces that we have at DAP, including a lot of resources that you can use to help bring your ideas to life. Here at DAP, you guys will notice a lot of the iconic colors and architecture that make our building unique. We actually are comprised of four different buildings. And so you'll see some of those as we go on this tour. Now we're in the DAP Build Lab. It was recently expanded. Um, it mainly contains woodworking and metalworking. Yeah, so here in the DAP Build Lab, we have access to a lot of really cool materials. It's a really expansive space. So we have everything from planers, joiners, table saws, band saws for the woodworking space, mm -hmm. as well as hand tools that you can access, like screwdrivers and nail guns. We also have a metalworking space as well that has um, a lot of really cool new materials and uh, resources, such as a press to bend metal magnetically. We also have things for hot metals and cold metals, whether it be cutting, welding, or you know, um, sheet metal working as well. And then one really great thing about the DAP Build Lab and having the uh, metal woodworking part attached is if there's ever scrap, you can come in and use it, and so you're not like wasting materials and a lot of students find for their smaller projects that's really easy just to go pick something up out of the um, nice scrap pile. This is the DAP IT Center. Here we have access to computers and other technology. One of the really great things about this space is that you do have 24-7 access, so if you're finishing up a project late at night, it's always great to come in here. Another awesome thing about this space is um, you get IT support, and there's a variety of tablets and a bunch of really great computer software programs.
we are in the DAP Photography and Print Lab. Here you have access to a variety of large-scale printers and different photography resources that you're going to mention. Yeah, so here you can do a lot of high-quality um, large-scale prints. You also have access to some photo studios in the back as well as a dark room and additional photography equipment such as camera, um, tripods, and additional lighting. This is our Rapid Prototyping Center, or RPC. Here at the RPC, we have a full-time staff that is able to make some really high-fidelity models. Just to give you an example of some of the things we have in the space, there's laser cutters, a CNC machine, and a lot of 3D printing machines, all at an industrial scale to help students really get those larger projects done in a really nice and finished way. lab, otherwise known as the STL, and here students can be trained to use the machinery themselves. Here at the STL, we have a lot of the same capabilities as the RPC with laser cutting, 3D printing, and a CNC mill, but here these machines are a lot more accessible or user-friendly for students to be able to operate them themselves. So this is our DAP library. It's a really great place to study and work. So in here we have printers, computers that students can use, there's a lot of books and magazines that I've always used as resources, and there's even individual study rooms and classrooms. Mm -hmm.